First year MBBS is the most beautiful part of your MBBS journey because you are probably in a new city which you did not expect to go to and there's a lot of things that you want to study. You don't really have a lot of friends, the relatives are scanty and you are a bit afraid. All of this makes you in a vulnerable position and you make a lot of mistakes, right? But slowly and slowly you gain a lot of experiences, you meet a lot of people, make new friends, get into your first relationship, get out of your first relationship and go to trips that will probably stay in your memories forever. You spend all nighters out with your friends and sometimes stay all nighters inside your room talking and talking and those are some the best moments that you live in first year MBBS. Slowly and slowly as you gain the experiences, the child inside you matures and becomes into an adult. You were once a neat aspirant and through the process of first year, you become a proper MBBS student and you start seeing things which you normally wouldn't have. But the road is not all flowers and butterflies, there are a lot of thorns and stones along the way. But you can totally avoid them. So hi, my name is Anuj, I'm a third year MBBS student at Government Medical College Nagpur, so welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll be talking about what are the mistakes that I made in first year MBBS and how you can totally avoid them and, you know, take this road very, very smoothly. <music> So the first story is like this, uh, it was the 6th of August of 2018 and it was my first day as a medical student and uh, I had no idea what to expect. So I went from my home, went to the college and the first class was anatomy. The professor was one of the most strict professors that we have in first year MBBS but he turned out to be the best person that I know in the college itself. So the professor came and he started teaching us and before teaching us, uh, sir took the attendance of the class and he was very very strict about the attendance. In my batch, I am role number one. So he started uh, calling out the roles and he said, role number one. Anuj Pachel and I was just sitting at my desk and I'm like present sir and that was probably the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life that I did not stand up for the roll call so uh, he scolded me for about two to three minutes about what is the importance of standing up and all of that and it was one of the very bad experiences I would say in the first year so if you are an MBBS student and you are in your first class make sure that whenever roll call is coming up please stand up and answer your roll call this is one of the most silliest things that I've ever did but in the end what happened was that the same professor who scolded me in the first day of my MBBS uh, you know hugged me and congratulated me when I won the gold medal in anatomy quiz in the same year itself. So another thing which this teaches is that it's not necessary that whatever first impression may be, that might be your last impression. It is never like that. You can always change it again and again. And the reason why he scolded is very, very good that we are not in the coaching class anymore. We are in the college. And there's a big difference in that. In the coaching class, there are small, small rooms where attendance doesn't really matter. But in the college, the attendance is very, very important. And you have to stand up and answer your roll call because sometimes proxies can be added if you don't stand up. So that was all an issue. So make sure that you stand up and any professor who is scolding you is just doing that because they want to see you in the best version of yourself so don't ever feel bad about why they are scolding me etc. Right, so the second thing is that I, you know, felt very strange after coming into the classes and going to the college because it was very, very new for me and I did not know anything about anything at that point. So I was very shy about whether or not should I answer the questions which are being asked to me, whether or not I should ask the questions which I have in my mind. So the second thing I want to point out is be confident in whatever you're doing in the college because, uh, you know, the people whom you're taking the class with, these are the same people who are going to be with you for the next five and a half years of your life. So it's okay if you ask silly questions to the teacher in front of them, it's okay if if uh, the teacher scolds you in front of them because in the end it does not matter in the end um, the people who you are going to be knowing in first year are going to be your family for a very very long period of time so it's okay don't be shy be confident and whatever doubts and whatever questions that you have make sure that you get them delivered out to the teacher because it might happen that that is not your question but that is also the question of 10 more people sitting in the room and they are not asking it so make sure that you're confident this also applies if you're going to clinical postings so clinical postings are these things where you have to go into the morning into the clinics and it might be OPD ward or OT it depends upon what department you're posted in and in that department uh, whenever a teacher is teaching you make sure you ask a lot of questions and no matter how silly they are go ahead and ask them because the teachers who are teaching you were once medical students and it's okay asking questions is a good thing so make sure that you're confident and it doesn't matter don't feel shy because the people who are with you are going to be your family for the next five and a half years of your life So the third one is about attending the practical classes. So I hated physiology and I still do. For some reason, I just don't like the subject. And it's very, very strange because when I tell this people, people tell me that that's the only subject they understand in first year because anatomy and biochemistry go all the way parallel above your head tangentially. So 
physiology i hated so what i did was naturally i did not attend a lot of classes i did not attend the practicals and see whatever you do in life has consequences after it so in my final exams of physiology uh, i got to notice that my attendance is not good and uh, you know uh, i had to do some extra classes but after that after that when the final exams came and my practical was taken it was very very bad <laughs> and i remember the examiner asking me the most basic of things because i wasn't able to answer the things in the practicals All right so the next is very very important for you in your life and it basically determines what kind of person you're going to become uh, in your life so it is usually said that you are the aggregate of the 10 people who you are around for the maximum amount of time so if you are with the 10 people who are very very excellent in their life you're probably going to become like them i read this one quote on instagram so the quote is like this i thought making 100k per year was impossible so i stayed with my friends who made a million a year and then i started seeing that 100k per year was not that impossible so that's the thing cautiously pick the people who are spending time with because if you don't then your life can be ruined uh with that my story is that make good friends right make friends who are academically active make friends who are active and interested in going out to trips make friends who are not addicted to any form of you know addiction like alcohol smoking or drugs etc because there are a lot of people you're going to find in medical college who are addicted to this and once you go into that group what happens is that they ask you to take the first puff of the cigarette or the first sip of the alcohol and that is how the addiction starts so make sure that you are not in a group Uh, who are doing all of these things because you know you will read in pathology and pharmacology that alcohol and cigarette smoking is some of the etiological factors in literally every single disease that you're going to be reading moreover if you're sticking with academically active people what you're going to be focusing on is more importantly your academics the research papers that you're going to publish in first year and how you're going to grow and how you're going to learn better and in the end become a better doctor in the process so importantly select the people who you're spending your time with what you also need to know over here is that every single person that you're going to be meeting in the medical college in the first year itself is actually going to be the same as you because they all are starting from zero they don't really have any friends because you are you all are strangers put in the same class randomly mixed talk to everybody be friends with everybody but you will naturally see that the people who are like you will come to you another quote which i want to tell you over here is that the friends that you start your first year mbbs with are not the friends that you end your first year mbbs with and this is important why because in the end you're going to be gradually gradually losing friends and you're also gaining friends uh, and the best friends that you're going to meet are most likely in the end of the first year and those are the ones which are going to be staying with you for a very very long time because i'm just going to give you an example i didn't even meet abhijit till the end of first year and now he is one of my very best friends in the college and outside <music> The next one is working on your hobbies and rather the mistake would be not working on them. My friend Yash is a guitarist, Aditi is a painter, Abhijit is a creator and I am a teacher as well as a creator. Arya is a dancer. So every single one of you has a hidden quality in you which you sacrificed for 11th and 12th so that you could become a medical student. Now it's now time that you can you know take that quality and make it shine and show it to the world. Because what we see in medical colleges is this. You focus so much time and attention on studying and studying that the inner artist inside you you know goes away and fades away. This is one of the things bone teacher said in in one of his interviews so make sure that the artist which is inside you the teacher dancer creator whatever it is make sure that that person does not die and in first year you have a lot of time in your hand you can utilize that time to literally do anything and sometimes you might feel ki yaar first year mein to time nahi hai then my friend let me tell you i'm a third year mbbs student third year mein to bilkul hi time nahi hai agar first year mein nahi hai to so you have to you know make sure that you follow your passion follow your hobbies because in the end in college study sab log karenge pass sab log hoenge but it is what you do apart from studies and apart from your academics that also really matters so make sure that you polish yourself in all the other extracurricular activities as well so just take a note of this and today what you have to do is this take a notepad and write down whatever things you are interested in maybe it sports be it creating painting etc and just follow your passion and the mistake which i did over here was that i realized this very late i realized this in second year and that is when i started making youtube videos again so a little bit of back story my channel was already existing when i was in class 7th i uploaded this video of newton this you might have seen that and now i i just completely left it till um, 11th and 12th was done and in first year mbbs at the end i got this idea okay it's time to start again and uh, also in the end of the first year it was a bit of a difficult time for me so after that was done i started this youtube channel look where we are here in just a matter of 2 years 
Right, so the sixth one is take part in literally every single activity. So your college is going to organize different fests, uh, different, you know, activities, different uh, clubs. So literally participate in every single one of them. I did not know how to sing. I did not know how to dance. I participated in the dancing competition as well as in singing competition. I got rejected in both of them in the screening round itself. But it was so fun. I met a lot of friends and that was the experience which I also cherished the most because at that time we, we used to get permissions to, you know, skip classes and go practice for MS or DC, that is music society or dance club and it was really fun and then later down the journey I applied for the quiz club which I really got selected into because I gave a lot of quizzes and I was really interested in academics so currently I am the member of the quiz club and it is really really good the most important part is that you never know which quality you're going to be good at so maybe you're not good at singing maybe you're not good at you know dancing or painting itself but once you start doing it start practicing it you meet the people who are good with the same things that you're not good at they will teach you what is right and what is wrong and in the end you will end up learning a new skill and see the reason you are in college is because it's an enjoyable thing okay learning is secondary in college masti mazak pehle aata hai okay so this is the main goal that in first year second year you enjoy a lot because studies to tum karne hi wale ho in the end because in the end you're going to be a doctor so enjoy your time in first year and that is one of the best times of your life All right, moving on to the seventh story, this is a very difficult one for me to in fact tell and I don't think I've ever told this to anybody except a few of my friends. Maybe my parents are also hearing this for the first time. So I was talking to this group of juniors and there was a senior like two batches ahead of me and he was standing in that corner and he was just listening to me speaking. And I was talking to juniors about very, very normal things uh, that happen in the college. And that person got offended for some unknown thing. I really don't understand till this moment what was it that pissed him off. So after the juniors left, so that person came to me and he grabbed me and he started talking to me about what are you doing, this is not the way, etc. Let me teach you a lesson, etc. And then he grabbed me and he was about to teach me a lesson when a teacher came nearby and that was the time when I escaped. So I escaped from his, you know, reach and this that, that guy was a very bad senior. Uh, and he went to the college, he went to the hostel and he told all the people living over there and he started spreading out rumors about me. And he, you know, pressurized my batchmate also to come and forcefully, you know, give me the talk and, you know, tell me how to behave etc but in the end i knew that i did not do anything wrong and that guy was just another you know guy who had a ba- very bad day and he was just taking it out on me so these people came to me they you know talked to me very harshly etc and it was a very bad experience for me and all that stemmed down because one person had a bad day and that led to a bit of a fight between me and a few of my batchmates and that resulted in uh, you know harm to both the sides because from that point i did not like the people who fought with me and they don't like me even though i know there are a small number of people but still it just hurts to know that people blindly believe in what some senior has told them before fact checking anything uh, so the key goal over here is that if you encounter a senior don't argue with them but if you feel that you are correct make sure to stand up for it and make sure to fight for it because no matter what happens you will win anyways the matter subsided soon i had to apologize because i was just a single person and nobody else was evidence of what i had said and i didn't remember which juniors i was talking to so in the end i had to apologize and that senior guy that so called senior guy thought he won but in the end what happened was that one year later when this youtube channel started gaining a lot of traction and started getting a lot of views the word spread around the college and now his batchmates tell him about this youtube channel that this guy from second year mbbs made and how it's changing the lives of lakhs of people across india and at that point i knew that i had won because that guy tried to spread rumors about me do harm to me but in the end who won i did because i rose up from all of that and i made my mark and instead of asking for respect i earned it in the end i would like to tell you that don't mess with the seniors because most of the seniors are going to be good and whatever they're going to be telling you are going to be telling you for your own personal benefit like if i meet a junior and he is not wearing the proper dress i'm going to probably tell him that okay this is not your proper attire you're going to be a doctor so i'm not telling him because i hate him i tell him because um, i want him to be a better person but there are going to be some seniors who are going to be cracked from up over here and all they want to do is ruin your life so don't don't you know ever worry that these people are actually going to get to you because in the end you are a great person and i know that you have immense potential inside you so make sure you show them who's the real boss by doing things which they can't even imagine that will be your real victory because work hard in silence and let the success make your noise so that's it seniors are really really good but some of them are crackpots so stay away from them and don't argue with them Whew, that was a difficult story for me to tell and i hope that it has not offended anybody i don't know if it has I don't care man. 
all right so the next one is don't follow someone blindly because uh, you see there is a lot of things that you have to study in first year right you can see these are the books that you have to study all right and it's not possible for you to study all of that and some seniors might tell you like uh, read gray's anatomy for anatomy like i usually give that suggestion and then people come to me and tell me that yaar gray's anatomy mujhse nahi hogi what should i do i tell them go with the book which you know serves you the best because you do you man because i understand better from gray's i'm going to read that you understand better from vishram singh go ahead with that it won't be the case that what works for me will always work for you too maybe the pomodoro method works for me maybe it doesn't work for you so will you follow it no of course not do the things which which you know uh, works for you so you do you always keep this in mind so a lot of people are going to be studying in the library if you don't like studying in the library you don't have to go there's no peer pressure you can stay in the room and study so in the end that's the thing like uh, don't follow somebody blindly because it might happen that the things which have worked out from them might not work out for you so my next point is regarding academics and what do i mean by academics is that uh, there's a lot of things that you have to study like i've already told you that is the amount you have to study and the syllabus of first year is bigger than syllabus of neat in fact you know i would say neat is probably half the syllabus of the first year mbbs because if you really go into the depths and you will find a lot of beautiful concepts and then the syllabus just really increases by a lot so for that you have to study every single day and just take out one or two hours from your daily schedule and you will see that in the end you will have covered everything very easily and that is the magic of compounding and slowly and slowly like a plant you will grow from a seed to a big big tree so just small steps every day make sure that no matter what is happening in your life make sure that you study at least one or two hours every single day small steps every single day make a post of this small step every single day and paste it on your wall and look at it whenever you're feeling tired right so that brings us to the end of the video last mistake which you would probably make right now is not subscribing to the channel i know that's a lot of self promotion but it's okay so i make a lot of great videos such as this one and i share stories and insights about my medical college and make a lot of vlogs which might interest you so if you are a first year mbba student or any student for that matter please consider subscribing because these videos take a lot of time effort and energy to make and subscribing takes only 2 seconds so that would make up for all the effort that i'm taking to make this video and you know it would mean a lot to me if you you know drop a like button and write a comment saying hey you did a great job making this video it would really make my day anyways thanks a lot for watching it's a boy anuj and i'll catch you in the next one bye